What's up guys, it's the Jock here and welcome to another one of my videos. Now this video is going to be a bit different, it's not going to be a typical walkthrough like I usually do. Today we're actually going to be doing the top 5 items you should not buy in the crown shop. And for those of you who are unaware, the crown shop is if you click this button over here. It takes you to a store where you can only buy things with crowns. And crowns are a currency where you have to pay actual dollar amounts and you can get special items, anything from packs to mounts, pets, gear, you know, so on. And some of these items are really good, but there's quite a few items they just put out because they want your money. So I'm going to be going through the five items that I think that are really bad and you shouldn't even consider wasting your, your money on. So coming in at number five is going to be pets. And some of you might be shocked by this, but I think pets buying them with crowns at least are not the best thing you can do with crowns in this game so you do have a lot of good pets like the little red -a corsker i think is what's pronounced who gives a really good card at baby and has some good pedigree and good stats but all the pets you can get at the crown shop you can get through the hatching kiosk in the pet pavilion and Honestly, I think that's the way to go if you want to get a certain pet because you can get any pet you can in the crown shop and then some and you don't have to waste crowns. You can waste in-game currency, which is gold, so you don't actually have to pay what this pet 6,500 crowns, which is a bit over $10, which is a lot for one item in a game. And so, yeah, that's my number five. Coming in at number four, we have permanent mounts you can get with gold and what I mean by this if you scroll down on this mounts page you and if you click the chestnut pony per se you see how this gold has all of a sudden lit up you can click it and it'll show you can buy this mount with gold and you can do these for other mounts as well so you can buy the enchanted broom proud lion the horn sweeper and there's a few other ones towards the top a little bit but, you know, using crowns to buy these items is a complete waste of your money. Now, if you want a little royal lioness, per se, which is what I have equipped on my wizard right now, actually. It's 10,000 crowns, which is actually $20 of, you know, your own money. But if you want to just buy it with gold, it's only 85,000 gold. And that's not too bad to get in this game, especially towards the higher levels. You can easily get that in a few hours. And this is just a waste of crowns if you decide to buy it with crowns because, you know, if you want to go for a different mount, like the Alfin or the Owl, you know, those are better because at least you can buy them with gold. But if you want to buy a Chestnut Pony, please, please, please don't waste $10, 5,000 crowns on this. Just save up, buy it with gold, and it'll save you a lot of money in the long run. And tagging along with this on my third on number three on the list has to be seven day mounds now these there's just no need for them at all again you can buy some of them with gold but you might as well just save up for the permanent mounds like the chestnut pony you can get with gold but crowns this bat glider per se it's only seven days that you get the use the mount for and it costs five dollars which is 2500 crowns which is a complete ripoff. If you're gonna waste crowns buying this mount, you might as well go to the permanent section and buy some more. That'll actually, it may, it'll cost you a little bit more, but you'll actually be able to use it forever and ever. So, you know, just don't even, you know, if you're gonna buy a mount, don't even pay attention to rental mounts. There are no point on getting it. Just spend the extra dollar and go for the permanent one. Like you can get some pretty cheap mounts as well for 3,500 crowns, you know, the sunflower, it looks pretty good and it's only 3,500 crowns, which is probably around like $6, so, no, yeah, that's my number three. And coming at number two, some people, again, might not agree with this, but I have clothing bundles and I don't mean the ones that are good and like will help you in the game, but I'm talking about some that shouldn't even be in the crown shop they're solely there pretty much to waste your money like this per se the thane set 
It gives you no stats whatsoever, and you have to pay 2,000 crowns for this, which is a bit of a ripoff in my opinion, which the clothing set, I don't think looks that great. And same with this, the monk's hat, they have it for each world in the game. They have Crocotopia over here too, and they all just are there to waste your money. Now, if you're gonna go for a set, I would get one that actually has stats. Like this one gives you a lot of damage, a lot of attack, a lot of damage, a lot of a resist, sorry. And it gives you spells as well. And it looks decent, you know. If you're gonna spend anything, spend it on this. And even then, this is 10,000 crowns, which is 20 bucks, which, again, I personally would never do that. Because you can, you know, you don't really need these sets. These sets aren't necessary. The Guardian's Helm is a pretty cool looking set where you can actually buy it with gold, so I think that's the only set I've actually bought, and it's because you can buy it with gold. Anything in the crown shop you can purchase with gold and do it, because it'll just save you money in the long run. And at number one on this list of things you should not buy in the crown shop, I have gold. And this has to be the single biggest ripoff that they have put in this game. Look at here, you can buy 50,000 gold for 2,400, 24,000, sorry, 24,000 crowns. Just an insane amount of money to pay for 50,000 gold. 24,000 crowns is, is over 40 bucks, I believe, because 20,000 crowns is 40 bucks. So that's insane for only 50,000 gold. You could easily get that in a day's, probably only a few hours of playing this game, just doing quests and selling the items you get on the quest. And even if you just wanted a thousand, eight hundred gold for, eight hundred crowns for a thousand gold, isn't a very good deal at all. So I really hope that none of you guys have bought crowns at all in this, bought gold at all in this game using crowns because I just feel bad for you at that point. Kings Al just took your money right out of your wallet, but. No, yeah, let me know what you guys think are pretty big crown wasters. Obviously, there's things that are really good in this game to buy with crowns, which I'll make a list about later on. But yeah, this is kind of the end of the video. Let me know what you guys agreed on, what you disagreed with me on. And yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see in the next video. If you could like this video and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, the doc's out. Peace.